Hi, um, in this tutorial uh, I will show you how to uh, mount uh, an NFS share um, hosted on a FreeNAS uh, appliance uh, on a VirtualBox VM. So in the previous video I showed you how to uh, install FreeNAS 8.3 uh, on top of VirtualBox uh, and also I think I showed you uh, creating a uh, volume as well as uh, creating a NFS share uh, now when I showed you the NFS share it actually it, it doesn't allow you to mount as a, a read write uh, so I'm just gonna go quickly and show you how to make it as a read write quickly uh, there are different ways to do that uh, you could add a user uh, into the uh, FreeNAS and then mount that user to group uh, as well as you know uh, you know give that user ownership to the NFS volume the quickest way to do that uh, is basically go to sharing and Unix NFS share and view uh, Unix share so I have this share here and I have edit uh, so you make that as a map all as a root uh, it's not very secure if you're in a production environment you probably wanna uh, have a special user for this NFS share purpose and then make that the user owner of this uh, uh, directory if you want read write access uh, then that may that way you don't give out the root access but uh, this is for just quick test and I'll, you should also make it quiet which I didn't mention on the previous video uh, and by doing that it basically doesn't fill up your uh, disk with a lot of warning uh, system warning so that's also a good option to add so everything else is the same as I showed you on the previous video so I'm just gonna hit OK here it's already done so now I'm gonna show you how to mount it uh, on Ubuntu so I have Ubuntu box here uh, where I can mount as the NFS share so to do that I'm just gonna go to straight to the terminal and clear it out a little bit. So I have a folder called FreeNAS on on this directory. It's under my home directory. Um, so uh, it's called FreeNAS, and then um, I will see if I can um, uh, mount it. So to mount it, you can use a command like this. Uh, so I have it already in my history here uh, with sudo. Uh, and then mount dash t nfs or protocol tcp uh, you can also use udp but i prefer tcp in this case uh, and uh, there's nfs port um, and then the ip address of the nfs uh, vm that i created on the other video see so it's still the same ip address and the path where is uh, mount uh, is exported and the path uh, where the mount will be uh, the mount point will be so this is the command that you can run okay, it's taking and thinking a little bit because uh, okay so it's done so didn't complain so uh, so I'm go free NAS so I don't have I have a test file here and I'm gonna say you know vi test2 txt hello nfs share okay so I could create the file here right so similarly if you go to uh, your home folder uh, and you should see something called finas I can also browse through here so there you go uh, so I have the nfs share mounted um, Thank you very much.